Hi guys, very good afternoon to you. I hope everybody is fine and uh, in this video number 268 uh, we are going to talk about two VBA functions, XO VBA functions. One is called the INSTR and the other INSTR reverse function. This is Ajay and I'm going to talk about uh, all these both these functions over here in this video and uh, Definitely they are very useful. Trust me. I can tell you from my personal experience So we're just going to start uh, with these two functions and uh, this is my channel youtube.com slash C slash Ajay Kumar Parmar If you're watching the channel for the first time just go to this channel or maybe through this video also you can uh, you know Go there and you can find different different playlist uh, This channel is dedicated to all those who actually are working on the Excel or Excel VBA and they want to learn maybe access or access VBA so we have the four different categories and we have uploaded a lot of videos on different different subjects as you can see these are all the playlists created here I don't think so I really have to explain you much because once you will be on this you know the library the playlist you would see that we have uploaded uh, on every subject you know I have tried actually to upload the basic videos intermediate level videos and the advanced level of videos right so this is going to be the Excel VBA function series and as you can see there are already you know a lot of videos uploaded here 14 videos are already there 12 videos actually and uh, as I was telling you that we have the basic intermediate everything so if you don't have any information how to use the Excel VBA functions how to use the functions in the VBA you can simply you know uh, see this basics of VBA function right it will give you the good idea and there are a lot of other functions as well as you can see date difference date at make directory you know there are a lot of VLOOKUP function you know all right so let's come back to the original topic for the day and uh, the function which we are going to use is INSTR and INSTR reverse I have already done my homework for you because they are not really so clearly understandable when you're going to apply on the you know the VBA window right so the first thing which we would understand is the INSTR function so for that I will write here a very simple uh, syntax which is let's say Ajay and then hyphen and let's say one two and then hyphen two three four now what if you want to find the position of the uh, first uh, special character which is called hyphen okay so how will you do that how can you do that in the VBA this is what we exactly we are going to do so we go to the visual basic and over here I'm going to insert the new module and in this module we are going to work so let's start the code uh, sub so let's say INSTR function I'm not really going to talk about much on you know that what are the functions why we use them because this is already we have discussed in the previous video so please if you are new to the VBA uh, and if you're new to the VBA functions please go ahead and watch those videos first guys okay so now uh, the first thing which I will do is um, I will declare a string let's say dim my val as string and uh, I'm going to write here that my val equals to uh, range c1 dot value we are going to store this c1 value in the my val variable which is as a hyphen one two hyphen two three four okay the next thing is another variable i want to declare uh, i will name it as output as long we want to find the position so that's why i'm keeping it long guys and now we will write the instr function now you can see here it's really not so clear start and then comma string one and string two so three parameters we would like to use here and that's why you know I'm giving you the definition here so what is the first thing if you see start start means you can see here starting position of the search so from where which actually level you want to start your search okay so I want to start the search from the first character so you will write here one okay one means that you want to start your search from you want to start your search from the A alphabet right the first alphabet what is the next thing we want to do the next thing is string one and you can see that in the excel string is to search within so where is your that string it is my val okay which would get the value from the c1 now what is the string two the string two is what you actually want to find so we want to find hyphen right so in the message box i will write that uh, position of first hyphen is and you will join it with the you know output okay if you don't have any idea what I'm writing right now which is a message box it's a VBA function please go ahead and watch the videos on the Excel VBA input and message boxes there we have talked about all these things in detail from the very basic all right okay so um, why I'm getting the error here uh, yes you can't put it here yeah perfect now if I run this you see what happens so my val has Ajay hyphen one two hyphen two three four and we are looking you know for the hyphen and we want to start a search from one so the answer should come as five 
all right there we go so that's why you know you are able to see this as a five now how about finding out the second if you want to let's say find the position of the second if you want to find the position of the second then you can do one thing uh, you can simply use the another function which is called the let me just write it down here reverse function now reverse function what it does it started search from the reverse order so it will find it the you know the second hyphen for you and this function is not available actually in the excel i n star is also not available but you have the search and the find function there which does the actually same job and if you don't have any idea about the find the search please go ahead and watch the playlist excel text functions right i have talked about them in a very uh, detail so now again these are little confusing but not a problem i can uh, show you what exactly they are all and uh, this will make our life very easy so the first function is called the string target string so what is your target string obviously it's my value okay string match string match actually is nothing is actually called a substring the item that you want to find so i want to find hyphen so we have a different different you know parameters in the uh, your um, INSTR function you you have first the what you want to find you know uh, sorry you have first from which position you want to go and then in the next parameter you can see here uh, the start comes first here the start comes in the last and then string comes here here it comes the string the first parameter right so that's fine I mean it really doesn't matter the provided you should understand which parameter will go for which value okay so what is the third parameter the last start as long now you can see here it's optional if i will not write it it will definitely you know take it as minus one or even if i write it minus one it's one of the same thing now what happens when when you're going to run this then it is going to give you the position of the second hyphen okay so if i write here now see what happens so you can write here the last hyphen uh, last hyphen right so if i run this see what will happen first is 5 which we know because we have used the instr function the second comes as 8 which is correct you can count as a hyphen 1 2 and so we have 4 5 6 7 8 hyphen is also a character special character so it is going to be counted as a one character so you got the 8 here right now if i let's say add one more hyphen over here and let's say i add this 12 right now what will happen now when you run the first uh, this line obviously you will get the same answer because first hyphen is not changed the position is not changed you still get the five now it is it will be very interesting to see what now you're gonna get are you gonna get the position of the second hyphen or the third hyphen so let's go ahead and see so we got the 12 and if we got the 12 what does that mean so let me just see so we have four here and then five and then six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve right so what happens when you are going to you know add more hyphens it will always pick up the position of the last hyphen and this can be trust me very useful if i run this see what happens five and the next would be 15 guys right or if i just write like this a hyphen b hyphen c hyphen d hyphen e hyphen f so answer should come as i guess it should be five right one uh what would be the answer one two three four five six seven 8 9 10 i guess it should be 10 right so let's just go ahead and run this the first one is 2 which is correct and there we go guys right so this is really very useful function now i know many of you would be wondering what if you want to find the position of the second hyphen <laughs> right obviously that that's a very obvious question so that in that case you don't have to use this inst reverse function right Be because it is going to find the last the item which you are finding where it is coming in the last right so from there it will uh, find out the position so in order to do this kind of a task where you want to find the position of the second hyphen or the, let's say the third hyphen where you have a uh, lot of other hyphens as well uh, first what you need to do is uh, you need to use the same formula again and uh, you need to skip this the one right now if you are looking for the second hyphen it doesn't mean you should write here two because if you do that you will still get the same answer which is two the reason is because on the second position itself it finds the hyphen and it stops and it, it is not going to really move forward so to move forward you need to skip the position of the first hyphen right so what you will do in order to make it dynamic you just simply write the formula again let me just copy this and here instead of the one we will write that whatever the value we will have in the output which means the position of the first hyphen that should be added one should be added to that and then what this will make it 
this will make the function start its search from the very next character which comes just after your searchable item like in this case it will start its search from the b and after b if it gets you know another hyphen it stops and then evaluates how many characters we have so if you run this see first one is two and the next one is four which makes sense as well right so now if it is four uh, we need to see is it correct or not first of all so if I start my search from A and then hyphen B and uh, 1, 2, 3. So, for, yeah, absolutely correct. It's, it's on the fourth character. So, similarly, if I let's say add here A, B, C, D, right? Now, what will be the answer? And let me add here these values, right? Now, you see, if I have to, the first find, the, you know, this instr when it will work, it will give you the 5. But thereafter, because we have added the 5, let me run this on the F8 mode. Look at this now we have got the position of this my val the starting is from the one so obviously we'll get to see five but the next time this five will be added with the one and it makes it six so six means that just after the first find position that's the actually idea right so the search will start from b and when it starts from b it goes to f and then d and then d and then stops in the next hyphen and when it stops in the next hyphen it is going to calculate count the number of the characters which are just behind that hyphen all right so in this case you would see the answer called 10 so similarly if you want to go to the third what you can do you can use this output now plus one in the another instr function and you know it keeps on going like that right so these are the functions i hope you have understood the concept uh, instr and instr reverse both works in the different way INSTR reverse directly gives you the position of the last character which you are finding in case there are lot many you know coming in your text and if you are if you have four or five uh, special characters and you're looking forward to somewhere in the between characters for example which uh, the third character fourth character special character then you can you know skip so find, you, you need to find the first that special character that where is the position of the first uh, hyphen let's say hyphen star question mark whatever you want to calculate then keep on adding one to it you will find the second one and then again in the second you add one you will be on the third one and so on right so this is how these vba functions actually work these two functions so i hope you have enjoyed this video and if you have any questions let me know about it and uh, i will be back with the another exciting stuff very soon and if you have watch this video for the first time then guys please do subscribe to the channel and enjoy all those amazing videos thank you so much bye bye